Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh and my bro Chris. We've been here editing here at the pad here in Long Beach for like eight hours or something. Um, but I wanted to actually remind you about this video. Actually, just a small part in that video when I actually filmed Felicia's phone when she was sitting down on the ground. She actually wasn't looking at anything on her phone. I actually replaced the screen and that's what I want to tell you guys about today. I want to show you guys how I do iPhone screen replacement. Something that a lot of you guys know how to do, but this is how I do it. Check it out. All right guys, we're here in Premiere. We're gonna do this as quickly as possible. When you shoot any kind of smartphone, the footage usually comes out pretty dark as far as the screen goes. You're usually always gonna have to do a screen replacement. Here, our screen was on, but obviously it didn't show up well in camera. So what you're gonna do is you're going to first right click on the footage and you're going to do replace with after fixed composition. Click okay. Uh, let's save this on the desktop. Let's name this. Let's name this something random. Test one. All right, I have this footage now in After Effects. I'm now gonna go into Effects and Presets, do Warp Stabilizer. I'm gonna put that on the footage just so that it smooths the footage up because what we're essentially gonna do is we're gonna track the footage and then we're gonna place a screen on top of that tracked footage. Okay, great. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually export this footage out. Make sure that your endpoint's at the very beginning and the endpoint is at the very end, which it is. We're gonna go to File. We're gonna go to Export, Add to Render Queue, click on Lossless, make sure that Format is on QuickTime and that that, auto that automatically creates a codec that's H.264. Make sure your format's QuickTime, codec's H.264. Do OK. Let's save this on the desktop. Let's name this X port and we're going to render this out now we're going to go back to our original composition we're going to then go and do import file and import that export that we just exported out so you may be confused why are we why did we just export this footage out and now we're bringing this footage back in this is the exact same footage, except the fo top footage was the exported out version of this exact footage. The only reason is when we use um, this plugin called Mocha AE to do the tracking, Mocha likes to deal with entire pieces of footage and not cut up pieces of footage. This original footage, the CO6160, it was brought in from Premiere and it was actually cut. This is not the full length of the footage. As you can tell, um, I could, I could continue to extend this footage out and I could continue to extend this footage, footage out even further. Again, Mocha likes to track whole clips as opposed to cut clips. So what we've done is we've actually created a whole clip by just exporting out the part of the footage that we want. So let's just go click on export MOV, that exported footage. We're going to go to animation. We're going to go to track in Mocha e, AE. Then we're going to just name it whatever, it doesn't matter. We have our footage here and we're gonna go to the X-Spline tool. Draw a shape around the thing that you want to track, namely this phone. Do not draw it on the edge of the phone. Make sure that all the edges are within the shape that you wanna draw. Then we're gonna track forward. Well, before we track forward, let's do this. We're gonna go to this tool, show planar surface, and we're going to align this planar surface to the edge of the screen that we want to replace. This is now when it's a little bit more important to make sure you're getting the edges perfect. Okay, now we're going to track forward using this key right here. All right, this track seems pretty perfect. I want to just let you suggest it a tiny bit. So I want to let you guys know this is a new piece of software that we haven't covered in the past. But please do not let it intimidate you. It's fairly simple. If you just do exactly what I'm doing, you're going to be able to do image replacements, screen replacements in your sleep. So the next thing you do is you're going to go down to export tracking data. Make sure that you are clicked on After Effects corner pin supports motion blur. Copy to clipboard. Then go back into After Effects. Right click. New. Solid, doesn't matter what the color is, doesn't matter what the solid's named, just click OK. You, have, you now have a solid. We're going to right click, pre compose. Let's call this 
screen. Why not? So this is called screen. Then you remember we went into here and we did copy to clipboard, right? We did uh, export tracking data, then copy to clipboard. So we're gonna go back to After Effects. We're gonna make sure that our playhead's at the very beginning. We're gonna go to transform, click on transform, control V or command V if you're on a Mac to paste those data points into transform. And there you go, you have your screen that's now tracking to the actual screen and the footage. But of course, we don't want it to be a red or pink shape. We want there to actually be an actual screen um, interface, like a, a cell, a smartphone interface that we're tracking. So you could either use a picture or you could do what I did. I went into After Effects and Photoshop, import, I'm gonna import it. And I actually have a file. Before I show it to you, I'm gonna click into the screen composition that I just made. I'm gonna bring this, I'm gonna bring this, sorry, the screen replacement. And here, as you can see, this is what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna then zoom out a little bit by doing the scrolly thing on my mouse. And then I'm gonna stretch this so it fills up the entire screen. And then I'm gonna duplicate this, Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And I'm just gonna duplicate it a few times so that there is it. It takes up the entire length of the composition. I'm gonna go back to my main comp. And as you can see, look at that. The screen is now stuck to the phone. It's now the right size. It looks perfect. And that's all you gotta do. The last thing you gotta do is of course, you have to mask your fingers out. That's something that all you guys know how to do. Um, before we talk about masking the fingers out, I'm going to delete this file right here, export MOV. We only needed that to track in Mocha. Now that we've already done the track and we've applied it to um, the screen, we don't need it anymore. And the reason why you don't want to leave it in is because if you remember, we exported that export.mov um, as a QuickTime H2.264 and that's a compressed file. If you were to go export this, this out again, which you will during your final export, that's actually compressing an H264 file two times. You do not want to do that. Um, I have videos explaining that, but you do not want to compress a compressed file two times. So you just use your original file, which has not been compressed um, that many times at least. And then that's that. We're now dealing with our original C0160 file. So I am not going to bore you. So, well, let's do this first. Let's duplicate this original file. Let's bring it up here. I'm gonna start this mask. What you're gonna wanna do is you basically just wanna draw a mask over the finger. Then you're gonna keyframe the mask path so that it goes across the entire length of the clip. So I, so I've now jumped forward in time. I've masked the finger out. You can see how I did it. It looks perfect. Masking can suck. It can take a while, but you got to do it sometimes. Um, I of course mask the other finger out as well. And this is really, really easy guys. You will be doing screen replacements in your sleep. Once you've done this a couple of times, please always use Mocha AE and you'll save yourself a ton of time. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And once again, guys, thank you so much for watching and remember to always keep it chill. Add your name and place of residence to my latest Instagram post and I promise to give your Instagram page a little peek. Thanks for watching.